What's going on guys? Alex here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going out in public. We're going to do some of your dares from my previous Dare Me. So today we're going to be doing a Dare Me video. So if you guys want to be the next one, make sure to go down on this video. Comment the dare and I'll find up liking your dare. I will give you a shout out in the next video. Not to mention, leave a like on this video. So literally, if you are saying like, I just think it's so easy to make my day. Alright, imagine this. If you're just sitting down right now watching this, you guys could be laying down. You guys could be laying down. Oh, no way! So with all that being said, I do have to run to the gas station right now because literally the Mustang has like 10 miles until an empty tank, which is like blows my mind because I just put $20 in my gas tank like yesterday. I don't like, where's it going? <laughs> Alright, so there's been a quick change of plans, guys. I filmed that intro in the previous car clips like over three days ago, and every day after that clip has been like stupid busy, so I haven't been- Oh my god, you guys hear my phone right now? Has been like crazy busy, so I have not been able to film a Dare Me video. So by the way, I still would love for you guys to go down on this video and leave me some dares. I will still use them in the near future for some more Dare videos. But today, I asked on Snapchat for you guys to give me some questions. If you guys don't want me on Snapchat, what are you doing? Add me on Snapchat at Alex Go Power on your screen right now. But guys, I have a few questions. I chose a few out of many. So let's get right into it. Chris Redstone asks, What's the most regrettable thing you've done on the internet? Now, this was back when CSGO gambling was at its absolute prime. I was doing so freaking good on CSGO. Like, I think I was up around 3,000 US dollars in profit. I was having a hell of a time. And I got to the point right before I went to work, I got really, really happy. <coughs> And I was becoming more generous with my bets. And I was end up throwing over $100 per pot, and it was absolutely insane. And I kept losing, and then I realized before I dipped under $2,000 profit that I need to stop. But still, I lost over $1,000 in profit, and that sucks so bad. Because you got to realize, like, $1,000 is so much money. And I guess when you're betting CSGO money, it doesn't feel like real money, but in actuality, it's actually real US dollars. So I ended up losing $1,000. I did not feel good. I'm never, ever upset. But I did not feel good after losing that much money. Jenna asked, what's your favorite color? I had to say this color in my sweater or some type of green. Ryan Walls asked, are you gay? I'm sorry, I'm not gay. I don't, I didn't really know if I struck off that image. Dustin Klesai... Dustin Klesayu says, have you ever did a drug? And I can put this on my life. Believe it or not, I've never done an illegal drug in my entire life. Like, entire life. When I was in, like, fifth or sixth grade, all the parents, like, told their kids not to hang out with me. Because I used to skateboard a ton. I had, like, I guess I gave off the image of some druggie. And, uh, yeah. And it's kind of, it's kind of ironic. We fast forward five years. All of their kids now do drugs. And I, I, I guess I'm still, I, I'm still clean. <laughs> Damn, what the f I can't. I can't get a break. There's so many Snapchat notifications. Castle. Oh my god, there's Dancer3079 says, ever gotten caught by the police. How ironic, Allie. I've had a few encounters with the police, but for this one, I will choose my most recent story. About about two months ago, a few friends and I all got McDonald's around 3 a.m. Then we went to a park to go eat it, and then boom, some cops showed up, and we all got we all got tickets. Like this is the most like literally that was it. We got McDonald's and ate it. We didn't do anything before that, nor do we do anything illegal. We got McDonald's, went to a park to eat it, and we all got court dates. No drugs, no nothing. I offered the cop to search my car and everything. Everybody got rides home except me. I had to drive back to my house. Cop talked to my dad, told my dad what happened. He goes, sir, do you know your son got McDonald's and was out past curfew? My dad goes, yes. What's the issue? That's, <sighs> it's not even like a cool story to tell because it's not even interesting. Because there's nothing cool to happen. Sierra says, baddest thing you've ever done that your parents don't know about? Uh, <laughs> my dad knows about this, but my mom does not because I don't tell my mom any of this stuff because first of all, she's not really into cars and second of all, she reacts so much worse than my dad. But it kind of involves me running from the police around 2 a.m. in the Mustang from drifting and c cops saw me drifting. Long story, I'll save it for another video. It's a good story though. Alex Winterlich says, what is your inspiration to YouTube? I had to say my main inspiration when I first started was Zexy Zex. Because I was just so thrilled at the fact this guy already had his like own apartment doing this stuff. He's still filming. Had the Minecraft. All this stuff was going good for him. He isn't doing so good anymore. But back in the day, he was absolutely killing it. And it was just like so interesting to me. And now I gotta say main inspiration of mine has to be like 09 Shark Boy. He's a friend of mine. But his motivation's like unbelievable. Like his motive, he's just so, he doesn't stop working. I love it so much. You don't even know. And like I said, like this makes me motivated to keep going on what I'm doing. 
<coughs> Jake asks, what year is your car and have you done anything to it? Personally, I've not done anything to my car other than oil changes and the water pump replacement. That's literally it, but everything you see on it right now has been done to it before I got to it. So you're probably going to question the louvers and the hood scoop and also not to mention the exhaust. It doesn't sound like your stock V6 Mustang. That's because there's a Flowmaster exhaust on it, which is, I'm very grateful for right when you started up, there's a lot of cracks that come from to it, which I love, but that's literally all that's been done to it. There's no performance upgrades. I'm not going to turbocharge an engine that has 170,000 miles on it, nor would I supercharge it. It's just not, not something I plan on doing. And for the final question by Alyssa MeQ602 says, would you ever date a subscriber? Now, fun fact, PewDiePie is dating a subscriber if you think about it. I was thinking that when I first read this question. Didn't PewDiePie do that? So, yeah, guess why not? If I ever meet one and uh, there's obviously a connection, sure, why not? So, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like on this video. I'm going to go edit this video right now, then I'm going to head over to the skate park because I have, like, it's Sunday. I got school again. I hate school so much. So, you guys stay motivated. You guys are the bomb. Deuces.